What's going on everybody? Filming a travel vlog today. I'm headed down to pick up my boat and then stop at my buddy Jared's house to get some stuff that we had ordered on Tackle Warehouse. I had it shipped to him and it was supposed to come sooner than it did, but it didn't and we can thank UPS for that. So I gotta drive down and pick it up from his house. From there, I'm gonna be heading east towards the FLW College event on the Potomac River. It's the second one in our conference for the year. I wasn't able to do the first because it fell on the same dates as the College Bassmaster down in Cumberland. And I would have rather done the Bassmaster, even though I hate Cumberland and love the lake that the FLW one was at, which was Smith Mountain. I've done well before. Um, I've almost qualified there twice. So I would have liked to go, but things didn't line up that way. So like I said, we're going to get the boat and head east. And I'll give you guys an update as soon as there is one. All right, got the boat hooked up. She's all ready to go. She's looking good. Got the talons on the back there, too. Um, we're going to get rocking and rolling. Got my stuff for the the, uh, the Potomac, all the baits I need and stuff. And then the cool thing I'm doing is I'm fishing the Chesapeake Bay afterwards for the Ike and Ellie Foundation Pro-Am Tournament. So I'm super excited about that. I get to fish with my boy Zach and see all the all the boys from back home in Jersey. So uh, that'll be a video, too. So stay tuned.
Well, for those counting at home, that is one bass and two catfish. Two good ones, too, on a chatterbait of all things. I didn't expect that, but I guess we're getting bit. Um, probably not going to stay out too much longer today. I'm going to wrap it up, get the campsite set up. I still got three full days, and I'll be able to get out early tomorrow. I wasn't able to do that today. I had to finish driving. So we'll go from there. Uh, probably fish one or two more spots on the way back, and then wrap it on up. So, if you see more fish, you know it's from today. If not, we'll jump into tomorrow. wasn't a super super productive day today day one of practice um drove around a bit got a feel for the place um ended up catching as you saw two big blue catfish and one decent largemouth um didn't really hit the tides the way i wanted to in terms of locations that i wanted to hit at certain tides um that's a big factor here and i didn't do that today i was kind of just moseying around so we're going to kick it into gear tomorrow um other than that I'm enjoying camping. I'll give you guys a tour here of the setup here in one second. Um, got the boat plugged in. Got all the lights going. Um, got those two Talon work lights, and they light things up pretty well. I'm a big fan of those. And then got all my LEDs that I kind of put in. Not super, super bright, but just enough. Um, it actually looks brighter in person. Um, there we go. Got the truck there all loaded. The fire going i just made dinner i got my tent right here um got the big old air mattress inside with the uh, sleeping bag and all that
favorite rods too. It's my St. Croix Legend X, the one I use a lot for spinner baits and stuff. That's not supposed to be like that. Not one bit. Um, so my front deck and my troll tamer for my trolling motor just kind of it's supposed to be spring loaded in. It got a little tight so it wasn't snapping shut. So if my trolling motor came up, the rod slid over and crunched right down on top of it. So that's never ideal, but. Send St. Croix some money and they'll send me a new one. So we'll see if we can't catch one. So as you can see, there's no tournament video footage. Um, that's because I didn't record, and I should have, but I didn't. Um, I didn't film days three and four of practice either. Um, Mackenzie got down. We had a really, really, really good practice, and we found something that worked that I don't think a whole lot of uh, other people were doing. And we, every location we pulled up on, we got bite after bite after bite. Uh, caught one or two, checked for size, make sure they were keepers, left. It's crazy. It was, honestly, it was the best practice I've had in a in a college event. It just went super well. Like I felt like I know what I was doing. And then, of course, the tournament came, and nothing went according to plan. I went to my first spot in the morning on the outgoing tide, which I didn't expect to be super good, but I hoped to pick up one or two keepers. From there, we went to our spot that we found. It was like a little hidden sneaky spot that I actually was getting bit at on a slack tide, which in tidal water, you know, that's not super common at all. It's actually pretty good if you can find a spot like that. So I went there, just about halfway through it, and then Mackenzie caught like a three and a half, and then I caught a three, and then like a two and three quarter, like just boom, boom, boom. So in a spot that I had hoped to maybe pull one keeper out of, we got three good fish. So we were feeling pretty good at that point after feeling not so great that morning. And the best part was we were gonna get to our spot that we had gone to in the morning and fish it again. And it was supposed to be, we practiced really good on a rising tide then. And we got there, and it was not the case at all. We struggled to get bites. Um, I caught two shorts. And then Mackenzie really hooked a, like a three and change. So we had four good fish with two and a half hours left of tournament fishing. And we just could not get number five. No more bites, not even a short. Ran a lot of stuff, ran some new stuff. We went back to the spot where we got our first three good ones. Not a bite. If there was one decision I would have made differently, if there was one spot a ways away where the conditions were a little different and I was still getting bit on my same pattern there, I probably should have gone up there and tried that because they might have still been biting there. My one friend actually went up there and caught one there at the end of the day to fill out his limit. Mr. Uh, Jason Zuber from Penn State, shout out. So I should have gone there too because I might have, I, there's no, there'd be no way of knowing, but I might have been able to get that fifth fish. We ended up having four for 12 pounds and four ounces. I think we finished 23rd overall. It took 14 to qualify, and the limit size was 15 inches. So if I had gotten my, five, uh, my fifth fish, it would have been really hard for us not to qualify because I'm a 15 inch fish or under two pounds. The ones we were catching, uh, we didn't catch a fish under two and three quarter. We were catching the right size, just needed one more. So if we had done that, we would have snuck in. Um, if we caught one more of the size we were fishing, we were catching, excuse me, probably would have finished somewhere like fifth or better which it sucks knowing that could have been the outcome and after the practice we had that was the outcome we were expecting but it is what it is still a decent finish got some school here points for the for the team and on to the next one we're going up to Saginaw Bay here soon I'll leave in a couple days for that because I'm back in Ohio now um, I didn't film for the Ike Derby either I fished that with my buddy Zach we had three good ones for like nine and change and we knew we weren't going to do well in that tournament because People like Greg DePalma were there. Um, all the local hammers like Rich Ledbetter, or Rich Ledbetter, uh, ex friend Riz, uh, Travis Manson, Smallmouth Rush was there. Like a bunch of guys, Oliver Nye, Big Master, like loaded field, loaded field. So we didn't expect to do super well, but you gotta throw your hat in the ring to win a free boat. So by free, I mean $300 entry fee, but you get what I'm saying. You gotta throw your hat in the ring if you're gonna go to a tournament and win a boat, and all my friends were fishing it, so we stayed and we hung out, so that was great. Um, again, I should have filmed, I didn't. I promise I will film all of Saginaw Bay, because that's gonna be some good footage, and that's gonna be the stuff I like doing, the smallmouth fishing. We'll see if they're on beds or not. Uh, either way, the GoPros will be rolling. We'll get some practice footage, some travel footage, and some tournament footage as well. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Please stay tuned. Um, we've got plenty of stuff coming up. Uh, Saginaw Bay, like I said, hopefully that's going to be pretty fun going up to the Mississippi River and lacrosse in July for a MLF college event. We got some Ohio State Club tournaments. We got another MLF event on the Detroit River. 
hopefully a national championship or two to qualify for this year that I can film too. But other than that, I'm going to be fishing a lot anyway. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.